This is one of about 2,000 trees that will be dropped off at the Royal Botanical Gardens as people discard their Christmas conifers. It's a program that's been operating since 1999. While the benefit is threefold, the most important one is to control carp, an invasive species of fish that was released into Lake Ontario in the 19th century. They come upstream to spawn in the spring, and when the big females do so, they stir up the sediment. And the sediment enters the water column, and that chokes out the aquatic vegetation. Creating berms like these allows for the movement of carp to be limited, most importantly during spawning season. Every few hundred meters, a gate is installed along each berm. When it's closed, a gap of about five centimeters remains, so that small fish can pass through, but large female carp cannot. Galbury says the program is succeeding, and that can be seen in the resurgence of some aquatic plant species. The other two benefits of the program are to control sediment and water flow, something that's particularly important in the spring with snowmelt and rainfall. We can't just make that water go away, but what we can try to do is strategically slow it down. And so these barriers, these Christmas tree barriers, have one effect of slowing the water flow uh, in the areas where they're set and directing that water flooding. So we'd, we'd love it if big pulses of that water were just directed straight back out into Hamilton Harbour. The channel between the harbour and Coots Paradise features another kind of control system. This fishway is mechanically operated to achieve the same goal. It works here because of the narrow passage, but would not be the best approach in Grindstone Creek, according to Galbraith. Here at the lower Grindstone Creek, the mouth of the creek is much broader than the Desjardins Canal. It would be prohibitively expensive to build a fishway here. So we use this much less expensive, renewable, organic solution um, to do many of the same things. Galbraith says the long-term prospect for this program is that it will continue for many years to come, noting that the fishway would only become unnecessary if all the carp were completely removed from Lake Ontario. So the RBG is grateful for public engagement with these donations. Jason Trout for Halton News in Burlington.